What's going on everyone, John here from The Real Talk, back again with another review, and that is for Parasite, which was directed by Bong Joon-ho, and I would try to pronounce the, the cast's name, but I probably butchered the director's name, so, uh, but believe me, it's a, it's a great cast, solid cast, uh, but anyways, Parasite, um, obviously the same director who directed uh, Okja, I'm not sure if you guys seen that, I actually have a review for that up in the channel, and also Snowpiercer, a very underrated film, I believe it's getting a little bit more recognition, especially because it's Parasite coming out, but if you guys haven't seen those films, highly recommend them uh, Bong Joon-ho has other films I haven't really got to see them but I've heard wonderful things about them and that's why I was excited for this film I was like you know what ever since Snowpiercer I was like you know who is this guy I gotta, I gotta keep my eye on him and every time that he comes out with a film so far I've been really intrigued and really loved what he's done he's, in every film he has something to say not just with you know the, the filmmaking I'm not sure about that but also some sort of social commentary right in Snowpiercer it was uh, some sort of like classism right he uh, all the poor people were in the back of the train and all the the wealthy people were in the front of the train kind of you know mirrors you know some of the history right in, in America and it was about that and how you know it's just a great uh, sort of action thriller uh, movie with that uh, tone and message right and also in Okja kind of hey you know we have you know genetically uh, modified these you know created th these animals and now everybody, there's not going to be no starving people but t uh, to what cost you know the, they're mistreating these animals genetically enhanced animals or whatever kind of like what's going on today you know and kind of the agriculture and stuff like that and he just always has something to say and that's why i really love this director and again with parasite he has something to say so real quick guys i just want to give my non-spoiler review excuse me because I want to get into this film. I want to talk about it in full spoiler. So, you know what? Like I said, I didn't really look at the promotional material for this film. I seen the trailer only once, and the trailer went from 0 to 100 real quick. And I was like, you know what? This movie is going to be dope. I, I can't wait for it. And the movie does have a turning point that it does, like, you're just like, wow. You're like, the movie's, like, going one way, and you're interested, you're invested, you love the characters, and then it takes this turn, and you're like, whoa. And then it's just like, I don't know. It, it, it's a great film. Highly recommend it if you guys like film. I know that a lot of people are going to be like, oh, it's, it's a foreign film. It has subtitles and stuff like that. But honestly, it's a worth a watch. Give it a try. You know what I'm saying? It's not always about these blockbusters and all that stuff type of movies. That's why I like movies. of Movies like this. I enjoy my blockbusters and all that stuff. But this, this is the type of films that I love talking about. And that's why I want to do a spoiler review. But anyways... I uh, highly recommend it, guys. I know it's getting uh, a wider release as the as we're moving forward in life, <laughs> as we're uh, you know as getting a wider release every every week. So, uh, but if not, I highly recommend it. You guys won't be disappointed. It is this like dark comedy uh, about this family that you know you kind of get to know them and then they get themselves into a situation. It's kind of just like uh, you're just like oh my god, what's gonna happen? It's just a thrill ride, you know. And it's just like and it has a lot to say about classism, about you know society and stuff like that. So, uh, great performances shot beautifully and just John Boon Hall knocks it out of the park but anyways guys if you guys haven't seen the f film though uh, make sure to tune out right now because I'm going to be diving into a full uh, spoilers this is why this this review is going to be uh, 20 minutes I don't care but anyways uh, Parasite so again if you guys haven't seen it tune out now go watch it you guys won't be disappointed it's going to be worth every penny I promise you guys but anyways so Obviously, this movie starts off with the family uh, kind of working together, trying to do jobs together, kind of just make ends meet, right? They're, you see that they live in this lower part of this, this basement and stuff like that. And you see them just, you know, be still being humble, a little bit kind of like, I guess, you know, kind of snarky and stuff like that. But they're, they're humble. They're, they're just trying to, you know, make ends meet. And obviously, something happens that uh, the, the son of the family gets his job. And I love, I love from there, it just keeps on going into you. The beginning is kind of just getting you to know the family, right? And uh, to making you get, invest in them, you know, to make you care for them. And as soon as the, the son gets involved with the, the family and then starts to get his his, uh, his sister into the situation, you're kind of like, oh, okay, this is interesting. And then the dad gets into it, you know what I'm saying? You're like, oh, crap. And that's when you start, because... You, you root for these characters because you can relate, right? You've been in that situation where you're trying to end, make ends meet and stuff like that. You know, you just want to see these people, you know, do better. But then that's when the question of, like, how far are you willing to go, right? That starts to kick in because you're now you're messing with other people's livelihood. You're trying to, they, they, they try, they, 
uh, set up the driver, you know, and make the dad get the job and stuff like that. And then that's when it starts to even go further because they obviously the housemate is next and they're trying to get the mom a job there so the whole family could work there. And they start. That's when it goes further, because like now they're me- they're messing with a person's a- uh, allergies. Like the the girl could have probably died. You know what I'm saying? But then you know, obviously they get the mom in there. They're having all you know. You, but at the same time, you're kind of rooting for them because you like them and stuff like that. But you're like, damn, I don't think I would go that far. But then when it goes from zero to hundred, is when the housemaid comes back because she forgot something. And god damn it! And this movie's actually really funny as well. I, I forgot to say. I think I said it, but it's like a dark comedy, but. Then the housemate comes back, and that's when it goes from zero to hundred, and it just I was just glued to the to, to 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 the screen and stuff like that. I could not take my eyes off of it, and it was just interesting. I was just oh my god, what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? And that's also when you start thinking, okay, well, how far are you willing to go? You know what I'm saying? Because it's just like, damn. Now, I love that scene too when they're trying to. Um, I think is after. Um, the girl had took the, taken the picture of him. And obviously they went upstairs and they were eating. They had the hands up and stuff like that. It was after that, right? They're, when they got news of the family actually coming in now. Like, oh crap. And then the mom pushes the housemate down. And it just it's just quiet. And all of a sudden you just boom, boom, boom. And you hear her neck crack. And you're just like, oh, did she just kill her? You know what I'm saying? It's like, damn, like they really don't want to go back to the life they had, you know? And it's just crazy. It's just ask you those questions. How far are you willing to go? And also, after that, obviously, it starts to rain and stuff like that. And, and in the back of my head, I was like, well, hopefully their house is okay. And they, they do address that. That's why I love it. I love the writing. I love everything about it. They kind of, you know, don't let, have like loose ends and stuff like that. And then that scene in the gym where the, the dad is talking about planning, right? Like, oh, when don't you have a plan? Never goes as planned and stuff like that. I think that scene is critical because it makes you understand a little bit more his choice at the end of the film. You know, like he's always the 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 main guy of the house. I'm forgetting his name. I think his name's like Park or something, Mr. Park. He's always kind of like he thinks they they think they're above everybody else, and they're talking about the, the that stench. Like, oh man, what's that smell? That you know what I'm saying? Like, and so the dad just slowly starts thinking about that and kind of like, you know what, like that's this is really what they think of us like we're all humans right like they think like less of us and stuff like that so even when he goes to the party right when he's dressed up as an indian he's kind of just looking at dad like man like you're really just an asshole you're a scum you know and then when everything goes all the shit goes down and you know he sees his, his daughter get stabbed he sees his son over there knocked out he's just like damn like I'm really like I'm I'm in this position where I've lost my house technically I'm I'm at risk of losing everything else I see he's just it's just a moment where he looks at the, uh, Mr. Park I believe that's his name and says you know what you have it all you can't you can't escape this without and, and, and he you, you you kind of again you don't agree with it but you understand his choice of, of killing him you know and man it's just it's just a great uh, scene like, again it's just filmed impeccably I loved every second of it it's probably my favorite film of the year. It ran out to that second behind The Last Black Man in San Francisco because that also was a beautiful film. Um, but man, this I got to see both of them again. And uh, at this point, if you guys are watching, let me know. Uh, if you guys are you guys are watching, that means you've seen the film. So let me know what you guys thought. Of. And also the ending, man. Like the ending again. It, it just ends where the they they started. You know, for that was kind of sad because I, I fell in love with the girl Jessica. She's so she's so pretty and she's she's funny as well and. You know, the consequences, right? Everything, how far are you willing to go? Unfortunately, you know, uh, she died from the stab wound. And it's just the brother and the mom. And dad had to go on the run, you know? And, and eventually it's revealed that he's on, uh, in, the, in the underground uh, hidden spot, right? And it's just like, you know what? Like, dad, I'm, he's writing the letter. He's like, you know what, dad? I, I'm gonna, I made a plan today and I'm going to make a lot of money. I'm going to buy the house. And all you got to do is just walk to the, you know, walk outside, you know, to the living room or whatever. And I thought it was going to end there. But I love the choice of it kind of asks you because I remember the dialogue from earlier with the dad and the son in the gym. It's like, did it, is it going to happen? Is the son going to follow through? Is, you know, is the plans are going to go to according to plan or is it not? It kind of leaves it up to you because you think it's a cool ending, but then it just goes back to the son in the same apartment, kind of back where he, he all started without his sister and without his dad. And it's just like, fuck, man. Like, 
after everything, you know, it's just like, damn, that last shot was like, whew. But anyways, I love this movie. Again, if you guys are still watching it, that means you, uh, watching this video, you guys you watch the film too. Let me know what you guys thought about it in the comment section down below. I've been dying to talk about this movie. So, and hopefully, I mean, yeah, look, it's like not as long as a video if I thought, but so that's pretty cool. But anyways, guys, let me know what you guys thought about the movie in the comment section down below. Uh, if you guys want to follow us outside of YouTube, yes, can at the real talk, talk with two K's on Twitter, Twitter. <laughs> Again, I think I, <laughs> I'm saying the cross between Tinder and Twitter, uh, but Twitter and Instagram at the real talk, talk with two K's. And uh, yeah, until next time, guys, we'll see you at the movies. Peace.